himself and says I'm gentle mm-hmm. and I'm lowly. This is our Saviour. Isn't he amazing? Mm-hmm. Yes, he's so amazing. And I thought, I also read those words in in the seventh of Hebrews where it speaks about Jesus that he you know, Jesus died and is in heaven. And when he got to heaven he didn't just sort of plonk down on his throne and say, Phew, it's all over now. <laughs> Take a break. You know what? Tells us in here that since then he's been praying unceasingly for us. He's been interceding for us unceasingly since then. This is the heart of Jesus for us. He cares about us so much. Yes, he's a high priest. And it says, this is King James, mind you, he is able, and that also means not that he, he can do it, but it means that he delights to do it. He wants to do it. To save them to the uttermost, that's you and I, that come unto God by him. Seeing he ever lives to make intercession for them. You know, he, can, he knows us to the uttermost. So he can save us to the uttermost. Yes. And he's ever living to make intercession for us. And I thought, well, you sort of think of intercession as being like somebody pleading a case between two people and perhaps one person is not very happy about something and somebody pleads on your behalf. I thought, it's not really like that. I thought, God's heart is for us too. And he delights to hear Jesus interceding on our behalf. And the Father likes to say yes to whatever Jesus prays. And... um, I thought, well, we know that Jesus justified us. He gave us the gift of righteousness. He saved us. He forgave us. He did everything. So I thought, well, why do I need intercession? And I thought, it's because my Christian walk is a wee bit. And sometimes you feel good about things. And sometimes you're not so good about things. And the thing is, that some of the times I just don't get it. I mean, I've read scriptures, but I realize that Jesus would say to me, you just don't get it. I mean, he's given me the gift of righteousness. But do I live in the reality of that? I don't live it all the time. And he says that I'm complete in him, that I'm united with him. And there's so many things, and I think, I just don't live in the full reality of that. But praise God, Jesus is interceding for me. Praying that I will get it and that I will live in that. I'm not on my own, isn't that gorgeous? And um, I just saw the other day where somebody wrote about uh, a plane and a glider, and they said that a plane, you know, a plane takes off and tows the guy, glider up in the air and then lets the glider go, okay? And the glider goes around, eventually the glider has to come down. But this person said that. Jesus hasn't let us go. We're still hooked up to Jesus. We're still hooked up to the plane. And, uh, yeah, I just love him so much. And uh, I thought of that song. I thought, I don't want this just to become facts about Jesus. I thought, I want it to be something that would move my heart to worship. 
to adore him, to thank him. And I kept thinking of that, so I know it's an old song, but it said, hear these praises from a grateful heart. Each time I think of you, the praises start. I just thought, wouldn't it be good today we think about Jesus, because our hearts would be filled with praise and, and filled with thankfulness, because he's so good and done so much for us. And um, yeah, 